Good morning guys. So as promised in my last vlog, I was literally about to take off this jumpsuit before I could even show you. I've got a few updates to tell you guys about this morning. I have my new MAC Studio Radiance foundation on and I will say it's such a lovely foundation. Like it gives a really nice like glowy dewy look but because my dermatitis is playing up at the moment, it's not sitting on the skin that nicely for me. And probably can't tell maybe as much, but I do feel a little bit more orange because I double layered it because I wanted a bit more coverage because I've had a bit of a breakout from that time of the month of just using different product. So that's the update, Mickey buns. We had a brutal storm yesterday. So one of the fence panels blew down, which I don't mind if the cats have to go in the, like if they go in the neighbor's garden for a couple days, but obviously they have a cat. She's gorgeous, she's like a, tortoiseshell but she's got white on her so she's i feel like she's like half tortoiseshell and half calico anyways she's very scared my cats have come like neck neck and neck with her like but they haven't like had a fight they don't growl or hiss or anything they just kind of put their backs up each other like staring at each other like who's gonna go first kind of thing anyways pumpkin went in their garden and he went under the tree and i was like why can't i get him out like normally he's like quite skittish or like like they're, they're, they're not, they, they sometimes listen to me, you know? Anyways, he'd let their cat out, so he was trying to get their cat. Not like in a bad way, I don't think. I think they were just kind of like, you know, head on with each other. But we propped the fence back up. Because, like, just when I thought I couldn't like my neighbours more, like I'm really lucky I have really nice neighbours. Um, but this side, basically when they moved there about five, six years ago, the mum and daughter who lived there had like tragically passed away. I think it was kind of like a tragic story. I'm not sure about what he was saying. And this cat just kept coming in their garden. They were trying to get rid of it or whatever. Um, but every time they would go up to her, she was like, she apparently she's really scared of quick movement. So they think she was kind of like neglected or mistreated a bit, um, which makes me really sad because I don't want to hear anything like that. Like I just, no. And then like, apparently I said, oh, well, how did you even get her to like, like you then if she's like that scared? And he said like, that, you know, they'd come up to her and she'd sort of roll over and stuff. So they basically took her on because they took her to the vet. Like there was no chip, nothing. I don't talk too loud because he literally works next door. Um, like in the room next to my room. So like, um, like just when I thought I couldn't like them anymore, like knowing they've taken on someone else's cat, I thought they had it since like it was a kitten or like a rescue or something, but no. So yeah, just so nice. Anyways, I'm gonna show you the Moose Lover bodysuit, jumpsuit even. Put it in a 2X, it actually fits really nicely. The only thing I'm not sure of is if it's see-through. It's literally the perfect length, comes right down to my ankles, it is long in the arms, but it does have like thumb holes, which I don't like. But it's nice and compressive without being too compressive. And I think if I'd size down, one, it'd be more compressive and snatch me in a bit more, but two, it would maybe be see-through. So I'm kind of glad I went for this size. Like I can see why it is viral, why it's popular. So yeah, I'm gonna film my bodysuit one and I'll show you what that looks like on. And then I'll show you what the Shaper X bodysuits look like on as well. I'm filming in here because it's really nice. Um, weather considering we had like that storm last night so guys i forgot to show you the shape where um the shape of x one when i had it on but like i'm actually blown away because i did try a brand on amazon before from crazy yoga and i tried like this exact one and it just very 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 similar to skims but not quite the same but i feel like this shape of x one is literally like the same like it's literally on point it feels the same it looks the same um it's quite long in the arms but it's a really nice like buttery soft material. It's a fong style, which I prefer. And yeah, and I've got the shape one on. So this is like a racer style bag. Like, ow, cinches in your waist. Like I'm snatched. But the only thing I don't like is it is full coverage on the bum. Like I don't like VPL. I don't really like that. But again, a nice little shape and bodysuit I have to add to the collection. I can't actually tell you how many black Body suits I've got now, like I'm losing count. I'm just losing track because I've got so many. But yeah, again, highly recommend. I'll leave them linked down below from Amazon if you wanna try them. Um, this one is like half the price of the Skims one. And then the other one is literally like a third of the price of the Skims one. Like it's actually insane. Still really great quality, still well made, still feel the same, look the same. Like you just can't go wrong. If you don't buy into the Skims name, you don't like our products, you don't like him, and you don't wanna spend that much money then these are for you. Good morning, guys. So I got my funny item to show you. No one hair, like I never really have my hair like this because I feel like it makes me look like a little boy. So basically I followed this lady on Instagram and she's got amazing style, amazing hair. And I was like, cause I always try to do like 
vintagey hairstyles, especially when I'm like posting in my vintage stuff and I always just end up doing my bun or like curly hair. So I took to her page and she had this really nice hairstyle. It was like in her like curly bun. I'm like, how do you do it? It's so neat. Anyways, she got this piece of Amazon kind of similar to this and it clips in your hair, but because my hair's quite long, the bun's big, I'm hoping my battery ain't gonna die, but you basically like put it over your hair, push in the clips and do it. I won't do it because I've literally just taken it off because I tried to get my parcel from my neighbor and they didn't answer. But yeah, and it like sits on top of your head. It don't really match my hair, but in like low lighting and I think for content creating, like it actually works. So I'm so hyped up because it all started with me saying to Sprout, we should do this for you because we struggle so much with our hair on holidays. I got that one to try because I picked one for myself and then I'm trying to like guess Sprout's hair color. So I've got like a soft light brown one. I've got a dark brown one. Because I feel like we always think my sister's hair is darker than what it actually is. And then we picked up this like curlier one, which I really like. Um, and it like dangles with curls and stuff. This one didn't come in many colours and obviously ginger hair is not easy to come by. Just to give you like, I love this one. I'm going to need to try and find like my colour or as close as I can get to this one. Because I feel like this is better, like it's more curly. It's like the dangle curls, like I really like it. And they're really cheap. I think this one was... The most expensive i think it was either 15 or 20 pounds but we're not keeping these all it's just i had to pick a few colors to try and match her hair color so she'll probably keep if this one looks good and matches she'll probably keep that and maybe she'll keep one of these other ones because it's like a different style so i'm gonna try that on her hair tomorrow i'll try to remember to vlog um these are only like nine pound on in, uh, instagram amazon so i feel like it's definitely worth it, like you should snap it up if you like, I'll leave the links down below if you kind of like this stuff, but I've been using mine like the last few days and I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna pop to Marks and Spencers now, pick up probably like some food bits. I do need some meal prep at some point. Just take you guys about my day, to be honest. I need to take off my makeup. I tried a different blush. Don't feel like it sits that great on the skin. And I feel like that MAC foundation I got is a little bit orange as well for my skin, which is annoying. But I feel like when I go out, I always stick to my trusty studio uh, fix fluid rather than wearing one of these other ones but I kind of wanted to love this one which I do actually love it but it obviously is a bit orange and I went like 11.5 as well and she did say like the colours are slightly different but obviously I've gone quite a few shades lighter and she did colour match me and it looked like it matched yeah I'm still going to use it anyway I'll use it for like my content creating so I'm going to take my face makeup off because I will probably go gym at some point and I feel a bit orange so I kind of feel a bit embarrassed to go out of like it okay guys I'm back I didn't really get much in Marks and Spencers to be honest but I've got a little vintage delivery so I saw this really cute dress on there literally all I buy on there is dresses I've only bought one blouse I think oh I don't know if I like the material weird material but I really liked it and she was selling it for quite cheap but I thought it was quite cute it's a Lindy Bop dress I got it in a size 16 but I like the fact it had um like red-headed ladies on with like skates and like it was quite retro I just realized there's a blonde girl on it how did i not even notice that i think i was too interested in the ginger people on there so yeah i got that i'll try it on not keen on the material it's like a satiny type material but i thought it was cotton and she said it was navy but that's black i'm sure it's black actually it fit oh hello little baby say hello to the vlog she hates being picked up. It has to be on our own terms. That was it. It was missing the belt and there's like clasping thing on the zip was broken. But I was like, that doesn't really bother me. You know, like we can do it off the top. But fits great. It has pockets, which is good. The material is actually not that bad on. Obviously, I can't fully do it up, but it's not a bad length either. Two dresses. So yeah, actually, it's not bad. I think I picked it up for £12 instead of 14 so that's a bit of a bargain yeah i've also got because i just realized i was stripping off but i kept all my gym stuff on anyway i wanted to make an order on abercrombie to try some of their curve love jeans but also do a video on it but basically my package got lost and then they resent it and i didn't like the two pairs that i've got but i thought I might as well just try these ones on with you that's what they look like they're supposed to be the curve love taper ones so i can get changed while i just talk to you yeah i didn't like the other ones so let me just confirm yeah the taper jean high rise you want to get down now 
and I got them in the 33 because one of the other 33s that I got was a bit too tight and then the other one I got in a 34 was too big so it was like what size am I yeah I just wanted to try them as well just to see what they're like because I don't own any like different style jeans I literally just have like all skinny jeans oh look the waist is way too big okay guys so it's not the best angle to show you but they are actually quite big but i do quite like the denim wash like the color maybe if i show you like this it's a bit better so they're like it's all supposed to be tapered it's tapered at the bottom but yeah like way too big so i will be returning those and get my money back but it's good to try like different brands and different styles because you just never know um so yeah i don't really know what to do with myself now i think i need to do a bit, do a bit of tidying but got kind of like motivate myself you know <laughs> good morning guys so i'm ready to go hairdressers that's why i look a bit like this but i wanted to make donuts so about march last year i made donuts and they were successful they were so nice like i wanted to make them again so that i could give some to my hairdresser some to my fam but the dough was so sticky this time i don't know what i did wrong so i went back and watched my vlog and i actually used the wrong paddle attachments the wrong um mixing attachment so i should have used the paddle one first and the dough hook but then i used the dough hook then the paddle attachment so i think i must have just got confused but it works so i feel like i'm going to do that and i'm not giving up so tomorrow i'm going to make them again because bernard's parents are over from ireland so even if i've got too many i'll just take them like and everyone can have some but i thought instead of wasting the dough i'm going to put in a loaf tin and see what it comes out like and it weren't cooking that well so i turned it up full blast and it was only supposed to be for a couple minutes and i totally forgot about it until sprout said oh let me know how the bread comes out and i was like oh my god i need to run down and get it so yeah we burnt it slightly but it smells so good and i'm hoping it's all cooked inside so just for the lulls i'm gonna take it out i'm gonna, <laughs> gonna try a bit that's how well my Saturday morning is going. So I'm probably gonna leave soon. I need to drop a vintage parcel off and I need to, I need to get some bits for the food shopping and I need to get some more yeast and stuff, otherwise I can't make my stuff. So I'm thinking I might just do that down my mum's end, quickly pop in the Sainsbury's near their house. So yeah, that's my current plan. I'm gonna take my camera with me just in case I am gonna vlog. Well, I wanna vlog Sprouts hair peas and stuff. I'll set up a iPad and then we are gonna maybe sort out her room as well. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Right I need to vlog. Guys, I think it looks nice. She says she looks like an old granny. I do a bit, like... No, you'd have to style it a bit more, pin it and stuff. Pin it where? <laughs> Are you serious? Mum! <laughs> Come look at this. It's not bad. Is there any other styles you can do with this? No, but like you'd pin it in that. Right. What do you think I look like? <laughs> so See? Not... Don't laugh. See? No, like no you'd you, you, you like to style it a little bit yeah. better. Can't style it. But obviously, it doesn't colour match. Oh. Yeah, it don't colour match, but still. Yeah, see, it don't look good, does it? <laughs> okay, right. Look. Anyone wants to see this, if I'm honest. <laughs> Guys, obviously, this doesn't match, but this is the one we prefer, like with the curls. But we had to try it, though. It's like birds want to come roosting the hay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So you don't like them? I need to know how they'll be styled. Do you know what well, I mean? Well, how they are, but you just like pin how like... How they are, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like with that one, you just kind of like pin bits in like... Like you looked all right on you, but not... why does it look awful on me? I think because you're not used to it. Yeah? yeah? Hello, guys. So never mind the state of me. I'm going to get ready now. But I thought I have a few things to update you guys on. So I didn't show you guys the hair. My mum came with me yesterday and she convinced me to get three inches cut off, which I think in like the last, maybe in like the last 16 years, that's the most I've ever had cut off my hair because I've just like kept it so long and I just like half an inch, an inch normally. So yeah, I had three inches and it feels short, but it's still like long. I also reattempted to bake the donuts again today and they actually came out okay. Well, had a disaster. The dough was better, but it was still really sticky. So I managed to just like roll them up into little balls Half of them I uh, undercooked, so they were a bit doughy. And then the rest, they looked burnt and they were crispy, but now they've like cooled down, they're nice and soft. So yeah, not really a complete, complete disaster after all. But I also wanted to show you the new jewelry box my sister got me. So these flowers are eventually gonna go. I just can't bring myself to get rid of them yet. But yeah, so she got me this like jewelry box. I've just, from Amazon, so I've just started like well, I organised it yesterday. So I've got like earrings, more earrings. 
And then I took these from my old ones just so I could have them like in separate bits. That's like the necklaces, more earrings, like weird ones. My few rings, just other weird bits. And then this is like for watches, but who's gonna have that many watches? So I just put my chokers in there for now. I got these for Halloween and I've never actually put them in my ears. Just like little, I just thought like that. I like the hair, the color, like I thought it was very like me. I don't know what else I have to update you guys on. There was one other thing. It might be something downstairs. I'll show you the donuts if I don't forget. And then there was something else I was gonna say. I need to get ready because we're gonna go to Bernard's sisters for late lunch, early dinner, whatever it is. So I need to pick an outfit. I need to put some bits away, sort myself out, do my hair. Um, and I will come back in a sec. Okay guys, so I'm editing this vlog and yeah, I didn't film the rest of it because I literally had to rush. I just wore like my Karen Millen new shirt that you guys would see see well, yeah, that you guys would have seen on instagram and yeah i didn't obviously vlog because we didn't get back till late so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications and i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye guys